is Phone Blast, and we have so much swag this year. This is a swag table. So we got patches, pins, t-shirts, these awesome hats. We got Slug's Baby for some reason. And then we have stuff that we sell on the site, like the Perfect Fits and the Yoinks, and the, we have some swag, we have an FDL. That's not ours, we don't sell those. We have motors, and we have all of this worker product, so much. Please take it home with you. I don't want to fly with this. And then lastly, and most awesomely maybe, this game. This is a target shooting game. It makes lights, it has sounds. When you shoot it, it goes ba-dink, and it gives you a high score. Maybe you'll get a prize, who knows? Somebody shoot it right now. Yes. Phoneblushapp.com. I'm Crow. I build custom talon claws and caliburns. That's it. That's all I got. High performance ones. I've got a couple different themes. Right now I've got slime and skittles left. Unfortunately, I've sold ghostly to a very, very close friend of mine. Most of these things are shooting about 180 to 190 FPS, and they're a lot easier to draw than the full-length caliburn. And where can they find you? You can find me on Facebook or Instagram as Toxic Crow and Facebook as Second Guest Productions. I'm Devil Snuffworks. I brought a whole bunch of 3D printed shit. I got some motor covers, some flywheel side covers with windows, some battery covers with voltmeters, some hybrid pushers. I'll get to those later. Some blasters. This is not a talent claw. It is actually German and metric. This blaster I'll be selling this year got a whole custom red Masada kit, metallic red. I brought some custom Masada kits, one-offs. I will not print any more in these colors. I brought some universal breaches. Uh, I brought my Foam Pro to a primary and my HVZ primary. And then the piece de resistance. I brought machine talon claw plungers and these will be going for $35 only today. Also brought one in brass because status. You can find me on Facebook and you can find me on Etsy. Or you can find me in the German Blasted Forum if you're feeling adventurous. Hi, I'm Atalanta Nerf, or Jill. And we uh, have the Naptown Nerf Club booth. We have some 3D printed blasters this year, as well as Stardust and Logan. Sub-Zero got a really, really nice paint job done. Have not uh, been able to put the LEDs in yet. But we also have over here some more 3D printed blasters. Super awesome. We have a Chrono Mag, work in progress here. Super sweet. Typhon is working this year. Super awesome as well. Our silent auction this year is the PAB. We have no bids yet, but I intend to probably have some more. We should have some more. We have patches this year and stickers, which is super awesome. Available at the Blaster Corp roof and Naptown finally got his beautiful FDL. Pretty sweet. We're excited to be here. People can find us on Facebook or Instagram. Just check out Naptown Nerf or Naptown Nerf Club. I'm Zimona Machine and I am selling darts, sock bombs, I have a thrift bin, as well as Nerf War in a can. These, uh, these Nerf War in a cans this year are pretty cool. They've got darts, blasters, cones, iPro, props, and rules in three different flavors. Uh, and then on display today is my Talon Mag loadout. I've got a Cita with Worker and AK Blaster Mod internals. We have a Strife with the Worker half, half length uh, Talon Mag kit and a Spamp, which is honestly my favorite blaster right now. You can find me anywhere where people are flinging foam. If you look up in the stars, you'll see me there too. I'm the spaceman. <laughs> Good. Gloria, what's your booth? Oh, hi Justin. Uh, I'm Mr. Nathan, and I have a booth full of work in progress integrations and some finished integrations and other things like that. I have a rapid strike built uh, in, in, with the inspiration of the General Mayhem uh, charger from Roadkill. I have the Centaur, the uh, feature of my Mod Along series on my channel. I have a newcomer, the uh, Warthog, which is a Mastodon with Thunderhawk stock and front end uh, in a rifle format. I have a Strife with just some cosmetic kit parts that I built for my wife. I have the Devil's Hand, which is a Rapid Strike Centurion. 
and I have the Centauride, which is the partner blaster to the Centaur for the client's wife. I also have another commission, uh, work in progress, as well as a couple other blasters that wouldn't fit on the table that other people like as well. Just uh, work in progress. So I have many things, many things in many colors. Nice. Hey, where can people find you? You can find me on my channel, Mr. Nathan, or on Instagram and Facebook and Mr. Nathan Mods and stuff like that. So, Bobo, put links in the description, please. Oh, yeah, as always. Hi, Bobo Lubalu. I, I, am, I am Thomas. I am from Containment Crew. Look at this sweet artwork on my back. Bobo sucks. His girlfriend's awesome. That's why that's there. We got everything we always have. We got uh, springs and springs and metal, metal strife, really uh, mag releases. The battery doors are all gone, so you don't get to see that because you're slow. We have the pretty, known as the tsunami, anodized in blue, with the end war logo on it. We have our cyclones like we always do every year. They do say Statesboro 2019 on them. And then for this year as well, we went with our new Infernos. They say in war on there as well. We've got a bunch of worker product, which is new for us this year. Magazines, blasters, kits, all that stuff. We have parts bins available. Make it easier for people to uh, just stock up on the little essentials that they need. And of course, on my back you saw, we have shirts. Wait, wait, wait. Down there. It's already displayed. So of course, like I said, Bobo's girlfriend's way better than him. She did awesome art for it. So we had to put it on a shirt. What else do you do? I mean, of course, there's stickers over there for free. And, well, there's more of that art. And where can people find you? Crew.com and Facebook and Instagram. We are, so MTV, Flywheel World, and upcoming Anarchy's Forge, multiple stuff. So we have micro flywheels, everything micro flywheel. We have actual micro flywheels. In four different colors. We have blasters with micro flywheels. Blackers, blasters with micro flywheels. Full auto, uh, semi auto solenoid cage. We have deploys with micro flywheels. Deploys with micro flywheels. We have strife cage because everyone loves stripes. What else? What else? What else? We got, we got uh, Spitfires, Spitfire micro flywheels, Tracer Overwatch. We got Viper micro flywheels. We have the prototype for an injection an injection molded fly, micro flywheel blaster. We have pigeon, a very crappy pigeon. We have energy drink. Energy drink with micro flywheels. They're in there. We liquefied them. They're delicious. I am exhausted. I am sorry. I'm not giving you enough of energy. I need. We need more energy. More. Uh, yeah. So retaliator. Shoot a retaliator. Shoot a retaliator on camera while holding the thing. Half half dart pull. Half dart pull. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. In there. Yep. I'm, you're Luke. Uh, yes. Like, subscribe to Bobo Lobo. Where can they find you? Where can they find Flywheel World? YouTube.com slash I am Bobo Lobo. Find us there. www.flywheelworld.com. Go to BoboLobo.com. Comment in the questions. Ask for us. YouTube.com slash Vlad the Nerf Nico. A whole lot of prototyping lately. whole lot of just... Clean, clean stuff, of course. The classic tuxedo mask. Finally got around to assembling my Masada from Devil Z Nerf Works last year. And of course, we got our very, very special uh, anonized aluminum battery door that has been serialized with the Pokemon I am number nine, I am Blastoise. Super, super slick. And I've been screaming at Mr. Heathpants' uh, MHP Mark II long enough that I feel like I can scream about it more here. Also, you'll like this, Bobo. I like them iron sights. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're so mature. Oh, of course. And uh, where can people you? YouTube.com slash Vlad the Nerf Nico. Follow me on all sorts of social media, the same name. Who are you? What's your move? I am Captain Slug, and I'm going to do something everybody's been asking me to do for two years. I am going to walk you through the process of making a Caliburn. Step number one, you draw some butter in a pan. It doesn't have to be drawn well, it just has to be drawn well enough to make this stupid joke. Now we will get the ingredients ready. 
First you need springs. They add flavor. Now you need one of these. Make sure you take it out before your customers eat it or they'll get really bad gas. You, you probably don't need these, but might as well. You need some of these, these, occasionally some of these, but we'll leave them out. Three of these, two, uh, one, uh, two of those, uh, one of these. You might as well put a sticker in there. Uh, that's not enough of those. You need enough to fill and mill your hand. And then two pinches of these. One pinch of these, I, I put too much, doesn't matter. One of these sticks for hitting things. One of these. Now, you put the entire thing, oh yeah, I forgot these. You need six of these and two of these. And now you put all of this in your 3D printer at 200C for about two days. And you get a beautiful caliburn. I have some caliburns prepared earlier. This one was in the oven too long and cooked down a lot. You see it's a lot shorter than the big one. That is all my stuff. Where can people find you? Etsy. Not Bobo's Etsy, he doesn't have one. Do you have an Etsy? Okay, mine. Hey, well, Give me money. Yeah. I'm Luke at Out of Darts. Uh, today we're showing off a couple new products. We've got lots of Jupiters, of course, and we are showing off the Proton Pack kit here. This is a kit that'll be coming out pretty soon this year. We're just finalizing everything. It's finally put together. And we've got it set up on here, a little demo. So this pack will shoot 15 rounds a second for forever. It doesn't matter what size container you want. You can throw on anything you want. We'll eventually have current sensing in the pack where you can just wire it up to your blaster as is, wire power from the pack to the blaster, and when you rev the trigger, it'll just turn on. Then our big release is Mount Olympus. This is short, Olympus is the simple name. This is a mountable Jupiter-like product. It works with magazines. It works with proton pack adapter. It has a MOSFET board for wiring, so it's really easy to put together. It will be priced under Jupiter and available in about the next month, month and a half. Um, cool thing about this is not only can you use it with the mags and the proton pack, but you can also mount it in a variety of ways. This is a wrist mount, so you can actually run this as a gauntlet style, Iron Man style, you know, maybe two of them with proton packs. Be pretty fun. It's been a lot of work. Uh, we're really proud of it. Tarek did a lot of hard work on this. And the biggest thing that we've changed from Jupiter, the geometry is all the same, but this uses square nuts and M3 machine screws. So there are no screws to strip here. It's a much more minimalist design, and it has uh, it's just super durable, <laughs> super strong, and should be a really great product going forward. Other than that, we're selling a lot of stuff. And that's been uh, a lot of fun to see people and sell to people in person for the first time ever. And where can they find you? They can find me, you can find me at OuterDarts.com and YouTube.com slash OuterDarts or on Instagram as, you guessed it, OuterDarts. We're Project FDL. We make super cool, customized 3D printed blasters. Uh, they are all brushless, all customizable. Uh, they will take short lengths, rival, full lengths, all the good things. Super cool stuff. Uh, we also do lots of hydro dipping and customization and things like that. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Where Super. Uh, ProjectFDL.com or ProjectFDL on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Happy Endor. I'm welcome, and I'm not super gluing my hands together. Oh, my booth. Uh, I've got things that I've made. You're trying to do the make test battle thing, aren't you? I wasn't prepared. I was, I've got a talon claw. It's really cool. It's made out of wood. I got the Ultima Strife. I've got this thing. It's a spiff. I've got I've got the deleter, and I've got a Chrono Mag from Nerf EZE, and I've got patches and pins, and a bunch of stuff. And you, you stay away. That's mine. You can find me Walcom S7 on YouTube's and Facebooks and Instagrams and Twitter and insert of social media. If I don't have a Walcom there, I'll make one. This is the Florida Nerf Association. 
in Florida we have about, I think it's seven clubs that we're all united. We're going to have a big uh, combined war for all the clubs in August of the 15th. Yes. We've got showcases of all the blasters people have made. Uh, one of our, uh, the dude from Tampa Bay Nerf, David K, he's made uh, his own 3D printed custom cylinders for the uh, Rebel, the Rebel line. Uh, the Rebel hammer shot, really. Yeah. And uh, with his own clutch, he's got, he's rocking an FDL3 for in war. Uh, we've got patches for sale for $5 for the Florida Nerf Association. Uh, we have an in-house 3D printer for our club. His name is Edmund Clinton. He does a lot of our prints for our players. He's made this one and this one. You find us uh, on Instagram at uh, FNA, Florida Nerf Association. So we are the women of Nerf. So what we have at our table is an eclect mix of shirts and blasters and shirts and fun things and a slideshow. So basically what we have going is a combination of a Women of Nerf fundraiser. We're selling $15 shirts to help benefit Women of Nerf so that we're able to travel to more uh, conventions and get us more involved within the community. Big benefit for us. Uh, and then we also have our charity raffle. A little bit different this year that we have is that we're donating to the Special Olympics. We are represented now in six countries with 175 members, so worldwide. Uh, we have donations from the Monkey Tron Collective, Clowny Nerf, Detroit Dart Talk, which is back here. Uh, and then we also have a blaster from a friend from home. So if you want to look for us on Facebook or Discord, we are on both. Uh, you can find the skull online, join our public page. We have news, updates, things like that. Lots of really cool things. Woo! I'm so shy. I'm tired. And I'm always doing these damn interviews for Bobo. Oh, my name is Nathaniel Deal. This is my booth. It's Ammo Counter. This is the lovely Miss Jackie. She's not part of the booth, but she's here. Hey! Um, yeah, so we're working on some new stuff. We got the new Ammo Counter Mark IV attaches to any Nerf Blaster. We're also putting out paintball guns. Please don't shoot me. Copper. I love you, Bobo. Is that it? That's it, man. That's all I got. Where can people find you? I can't, um, where, on where the internet. You, where can you find? Where can we find Ammo Counter? www.ammocounter.com com com Hey, I'm Jonathan, and then our blue is Blaster Core. We make afterburners. We just chiseled it out of a freaking rock. Thanks to the mighty Mr. Nathan that helped us with redesign this year. It's our brand new Gen 3 afterburner. We went with something that was kind of known under the community as the brick to having a nicely sculpted piece of plastic that looks like Hasbro manufactured it themselves. What else do we got? Well, we had a couple of them available. And I always have a deploy because deploys are so nice, you know. You gotta have the deploys. But a kind of a short history. We got pump grips for calibers and other things. And then we also got our color options and patches. We make a lot of patches. That yes, it, at Naptown, I created that whole slogan and was known for it for my hyperfire when I carried over 25 magazines on my person and was literally just dumping them on the flag point I was at. I ended up finished capturing that point and it, the phrase became a slogan. One mag, one tag, because that is that is how I play capture the flag. So you can find us, you can contact us the easiest via Facebook if you want to reach out to us or if you, you want to buy something you see, you buy it from Etsy just by searching Blaster Core. I'm Alice Kotuk, and uh, I can't think of a way to troll you this year, so you might get off easy, but I don't know, we'll find out. Um, so this is, uh, behold, my stuff. Um, so uh, this year, I kind of wanted to just show off. Um, what I'm saying is I, I wanted to show off the process. So uh, basically what that translates to is I didn't have any projects near being finished, so I just took them unpainted and, like, tried to make the shell work look okay um, but uh, yeah it sort of shows a lot of the process that that goes into it so um, uh, this is a project I'm working for or I'm working on for my friend Winston he machined this um, so uh, five axis aluminum malice cage uh, so that's going in here uh, this is an integration I've been working on for a while so I designed this stock for it um, but didn't install it. However, I did install it on this thing, as well as the flat top here. 
And I actually think you will like this this raven, which I know is is yeah, exactly. And then uh, yeah, that good old Gaven. Um, uh, and then an old strife I did, and then a new strife I did, and I'm tired of strifes, and I'm not going to do them anymore. Yeah, so this is uh, my rainbow cannon. So originally I made, I designed this for Jang, and then I decided to make one myself. Uh, and then this is uh, the first prototype of um, uh, a plus bow that I designed years ago. It was uh, the second sketch I ever did, like for doing concept art for Nerf stuff. Um, and I just made it in 3D, which is a really oversimplified, it's like 60 hours of design, but whatever. A little delicate, but it's really comfy and I'm really pleased with how it should have turned out, we'll say. Uh, you can find me at uh, YouTube as Alice-Kotuk, or Alice Kotuk if you're lazy. Armod74, this is a bunch of my stuff. Blaster I ran last year, it is a Arctic Shock strife with a bunch of the resin cast clear parts LEDs running through the blaster uh, you can sort of see some of my early or uh, 3d printed prototype parts battery door is being used as a control panel because I was able to fit the battery and all the electronics in the stock this is a modified worker stock however uh, sort of limited in the amount of space that you can use being that it has to also accommodate for Springer blasters so when I went on to later design my own uh, because I obviously don't care about Springer Blasters, uh, this one is able to utilize the whole space while still keeping the same profile that I sort of liked on that design, on this design. So this comes off with your screws and then you have a ton of space for all your lipos, electronics and whatnot. This one has RGB LEDs and sort of the same thing. The battery just died unfortunately. So, but it's wrapped around the barrel and that'll come out. Uh, this is a long shot strife integration that I made for this year's end war. Then this is a work in progress, bullpup rapid strike. Uh, I really hate how the rapid strike looks, to be honest, so I wanted to make a rapid strike that looks nothing like a rapid strike. So I am still obviously in the very early stages of feeling out the profile of this blaster. Still need to work on the back. Pretty happy with how the front's coming along so far. You have a crossfire bolt, uh, Centurion long shot front gun, uh, Raven, and a rapid strike so far. Uh, the, I just trimmed down this top rail as you can see here in the middle, so the profile sort of matches in the front and back. Uh, my plan is to sort of gut this front section, making a large exposed barrel. I'm gonna EL wire wrap it, so it sort of looks like a sci-fi coil gun. Uh, I got patches and stickers for the people who are at NWAR this year. Uh, I did a limited run of the patches just because mostly I wanted it for my gear, but I got some other ones to give out as well. Uh, and then last and not least, I couldn't let it be NWAR since Aero Mech's not gonna be here this year. It's gotta have at least one Northeast homemade this one collapses luckily, so I was able to fit in my uh, package pretty easily. Got a really easy uh, DIY uh, bow out of just PVC and surgical tubing. Works surprisingly well, not practical, extremely fun to shoot and feel like Lego like lost. Where can people find you? YouTube, Instagram, any place pretty much that people post Nerf Blasters under Armod74. Hi, I'm Greg Hefner from 3D Printed Solid. Uh, this is our booth. Uh, we do, of course, 3D printing. Uh, we can start over there on the far side if you want. Uh, we do custom weapons. So we have the, the rival type weapons. So we do uh, the Nemesis hoppers. This is a medium sized hopper. This is our large hopper. This is a thousand rounds of spare ammo. And uh, this particular one is a filament that is heat color changing. So if you hold your hand on it for a while, I'm not, I'm not sure if my hands are warm enough. But uh, hey, there you, go. You'll, you can make it turn different colors by pouring warm water or cold water on it, depending on what you're, what you're doing. Uh, this is one of our latest guns. This is a rail gun. It's a Stratohawk uh, body kit. It's a double uh, um, Nerf magazines. I'm sorry, uh, worker magazines on it. It's the main scope and, and side uh, backup sights. This is our Fortnite gun. Uh, this actually shoots rival balls. Uh, it has a five-round capacity. Trey, do you want to do you want to demonstrate this? It holds five rounds. Does 130 130 feet per second. Okay, some of our more popular uh, uh, holsters. 
We offer the Strife holster, the Kronos holster, the Hammer Shot holster. We also have a lot of the Micro Shot holsters, uh, Strife, Hammer Shot, Zombie Strike, Fire Strike. And see, this is our, our latest uh, Strife holster. Has a double cam lock in there so the, the gun doesn't fall out when you're running. Attaches at the hip and uh, two double straps at the leg. Uh, we have a number of various just regular nerf items. Uh, we have uh, thumb hole stocks for the Strife, the Alpha Trooper, and uh, the new uh, Straddle Hawk uh, thumb hole stock. Also have battery covers, uh, couplers for magazines, sights. All right, so this is two new prototype uh, rival backpacks. Um, the orange one is a personal backpack, which holds around 1,000 to 1,100 rounds. And the red one is the team backpack, which holds 2,000 rounds. We have a consumer grade motor and gearbox on the orange, the personal version with a single fan motor. And on the, on the team version, we have an industrial grade gearbox an industrial grade motor and uh, double fans. It has a uh, impeller drive system with an overclocker on the fans. So you get your voltage read out of the motor and your voltage read out of the fans. It has a remote tether. So you turn the main power on down here and you got power to your tether. You got your speed control down here for your impeller drive. You can go anywhere from uh, 10 balls a second or on up to 40 balls a second. So the, the industrial team pack is doing 40 balls per second and the personal version is doing 10 balls per second. So you got your controls, you turn on the fan, you get your readouts here, and then you got your trigger for the impeller. You also got a forward and reverse. So it stays in forward when you're, when you're, when you're running. If you were to ever get a jam for any reason, you do a, a two second reverse and then go forward again. You don't even have to take it apart. It takes about three seconds to do that. We have a, a, a range of different uh, harnesses that we're going to look at to see which one to, to offer. But uh, these should be out in a month or two. All right, so we have a lot of Nemesis and Prometheus hoppers, uh, various jolts, hammer shots, the micro hammer shots. The front end for the Nemesis. We've got all kinds of scopes, front ends. A lot of this stuff you won't see online, but eventually we'll get it up there. Very cool. And speaking of which, where can people find you? Uh, 3dprintedsolid.com. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. I'm Captain Xavier, and this is my booth. What which you has? Talk I've about got everything. I've got my fancy stuff. I've got ire, my bazooka, tear, and then we've got auxiliary merch so that my private militia can look like a militia, which is, now that I say that out loud, that's probably why TSA gave me so much grief. I'm probably on a list as being some sort of a warlord. Where can people find you? The internet. Captain Xavier. Captain Xavier, YouTube, search it. Uh, or Facebook. I, I don't have a Twitter. I do not, uh, the, I do not the tweet. Yes, Seamstress at Arms makes a good deal of the Auxiliary's merch. So if you want merch, she does custom merch. We've got standard merch. Buy my merch. Buy my merch. Who are you? What's your boots? I'm just kidding. No, I'm Ryan. I'm from Silver Fox Industries. I'm just messing with Bobo. Uh, I uh, do resin casting. I do modding blasters, printing caliburns. Uh, I've got uh, shirts, patches, stickers. Um, all sorts of stuff. Um, you can find me at uh, silverfoxindustries.shop. And um, yeah. that's it. Thank you, Daddy. Hello, this is Jamie Heston, J Mom, with Cali Nerfer. And we are Heston Systems. And we came out with the Typhoon 2, version 2. It has a feed guide, a little bit different styling, still hand polished, still made in California, not in China. <laughs> And I am not moderating this year, so I am having fun, lots of fun. <laughs> and where can people find you? People can find me on Instagram and Facebook. 
Heston Systems. Yeah, and then we also do, we do EBAN, right? East Bay Area Nerf. And we also run Ragnar Oktoberfest. So come to that in October. Thank you. I am Connie Norf, and I look like I ate Bob Barker. Uh, <laughs> I am here at FoamCon talking to a guy who I tried to teabag last year, and I got away with it. I think he was going to step on his head. I got my stuff. I got Griever's stuff on the other side. There's a channel you should probably check out. I got this. This is an important one. I'm here shelling for these guys. Blair County House of Nerf, Thunderdome, Pennsylvania. My buddy Joshua Church. No, yeah, Joshua touched him. My buddy Josh France. Uh, foam, uh, France's House of Foam as well. He's making nozzle attachments and stuff. I got my own patches, my own deal, and my all famous little uh, rump page here, which everybody seemed to really like for some reason. I put absolutely no work into it whatsoever. It just kind of fell off my front, so that's the way it turned out. And the least popular stuff in the room for sale, all this stuff. <laughs> I can't help but think Bobo's pictures of me all looking down on me. A little bit. <laughs> all of it. I'm pretty tall. Where are you going to find you? You can find me here. Uh, you can find me on my website. On yeah, he's found on the roadside. And uh, Pawnee side. Nerf. You can turn it over and just scan the screen. It'll take you right to me. I need the subs. Help me out. Uh, actually, you know what? I just need subs. Somebody bring me some food. <laughs> Hi, I am Jason. I am with Queen City Nerf and also here with the Nerfing for Autism. Uh, Raleigh Youth Nerf Club. We got a couple different clubs here. Uh, Nerfing for Autism. We do uh, darts at the park. Again, Queen City Nerf Club is mine. We're also here with Valor as well. He's currently He's not, here. not here. He's walking around. We told him we'd sell his stuff cheap. So come buy his stuff now, cheap. What all you got here? So we've got just a mixture of things. With the Raleigh Youth, he has his uh, pigeon. He also had a FPL somewhere around here, but I think they took it out. A couple of Vipers. This is one that I've printed here. Uh, we have our gentleman Eric here in the back has his incisor. Pretty, pretty lights. Yeah, what else, what else? Ooh, I like the glitter. Yes. That's fingernail uh, polish. Fingernail polish, Love actually. Uh, one of our group members brought the display of those today. That? that is Daily his North. That is dangerous. This here? Yeah. Are we oh, calling what? this? What? I don't know what to call it. We're calling it Sir Jenks a lot. Sure. That's what I have dubbed it. Uh, it's, uh, that's Sir, Sir uh, Jenks a lot. And then we have. Cerberus, which is my creation, the uh, 3S uh, lipo, and this here is Thunder Drum. Yeah, so brassed all the barrels and put a good paint job on it. And then we have the Strato Chicken, also by Blaster Foam here. Check him out at Blaster Foam on YouTube. And uh, Evader. And then our my Evader, my Christmas time Evader. Nice. And where can people find you? Uh, you can find us at uh, Nerfing for Autism on Facebook. You can find us Darts at the Park, Raleigh Youth Nerf Club, uh, Queen City Nerf Club as well. All right, thank you. Hey, we are Detroit Dart Talk. Three, four members what of up? Detroit Dart Talk. Who are you? Tim. Eric. Tom. Connor. And we do a weekly podcast. Also, we post a YouTube video when we don't have to edit too much out, which unfortunately we often have to edit a lot out because we get a little obscene. Sorry. We have fun. We, we have a good crazy. time. And uh, yeah, so we do a frequent jolt of news and reviews. We just talk about whatever we want to talk about, basically. Very a lot of time. discussion. Yeah, very free form discussion. We try to have fun. That's what we are. We, I mean, we brought, we, we're recording uh, little bits, uh, little interview segments. Yeah, so. Minus that. Aw. And uh, we record interview segments. We brought some shirts. We brought some patches. We brought some candy for the children, you know. And, and uh, we're pretty much here just to meet, to chat, and to hang out. Take that candy, boy. You can find us on uh, our Discord, or you can find us uh, to listen to us on SoundCloud, iTunes, Stitcher, and probably Spotify by the time this goes up. We're going to add that in. It's easy enough to do. Hey, this is Epic Whale. This is, uh, what to say, Eric. Um, I'm here for Ultrasonic, and now apparently um, Woody is apparently making his own blaster now. So this is the, the Woodsy, 
which is a half length dot automatic. Uh, this is actually printed in silk, silk PLA. So it feels a lot nicer than the um, than the regular PLA. That's beautiful colors. Yep. Uh, we got the bow stocks like we had last year. Uh, this is still in prototype mode, but it's almost done. This is a Voltex mag um, because you can't really find the mags cheap out there. So what I decided to do is make my own, and we can add as many as you want, take out as many, and it's pretty. It's pretty strong. Uh, so this is with PETG, but now I have my ABS working, so I'm going to switch over to ABS eventually, and this thing's going to be uh, pretty much a beast. And that's how it broke, but but like I said, yeah, it broke exactly where I thought it was going to break. All right, what's well, got? All right, so these are the, the new machine flywheels. we got the plastic version with the aluminum, and you might need two hands for that one. That's, for the, that's the brass. Uh, these things are great looking. Uh, he really took his time in making these. These are from Germany. These aren't like the, the worker wheels. Where you, How much are these? Uh, so we got the plastic ones for 30, the aluminum for 35, and the brass ones are 40. Ooh, not bad. Yep. Uh, the, he shipped a whole bunch over to me, so it was a lot easier to save on the shipping because shipping what, two wheels to somebody is the same price as shipping a whole box. So I was able to get the price down for the people that live in the U.S. Okay, and then we have the stocks. We have the stock for the swordfish. We have the stock for the, the dominator. We have the stock for the for the strife. So instead of having the big old big old tumor right there, we actually have a nice little battery in here. I have a four uh, I have a four S battery right into this guy. Uh, this guy is a real souped up uh, strife. We have select fire. I put the the switch right here, and when you switch over, we have red for we have red for single. Blue for triple, and we got green for full auto. Uh, but we want to give it a shot on uh, full auto. Oh Where do I shoot it? I, I've been aiming for the vents. And this is just like my normal strikes that I had last year. Nothing fancy about that. Um, and rapid strikes, I was able to finally get one of these. Um, I made this one pretty cool for the select fire as well. So instead of putting it on the side, it kind of made it a little invisible. Ah. Put it right there. So if you want to go um, ninja mode, it's all there. <laughs> I don't want to cost too much chaos. <laughs> and that's, uh, that's pretty much it. And then we have uh, uh, light bulb stocks that stick out like a mile on the side. And where can people find you? Um, you can find me on Etsy, Epic Whale. <laughs> My name is Al. This is Al the Geek Man. This is the crazy stuff I do. I got a lot of stuff. Talk, talk about whatever, man. I got lots of stuff. So as you can tell, I get crazy ideas and I make crazy stuff. Why? Because it's fun. Why else would you? Why wouldn't you attach a vagabond to an exactly. earthquake? Because I do stuff like this and I do stuff like that. Basically, anything new that comes out, I try to figure out how to combine it, make it big and strong and, and madness. And then, of course, I make it longer. Does right. performance go down? Great, but you're not buying my stuff for performance. You're buying it because it looks cool. And where can people find you? You can find me on my Instagram page, al underscore the underscore geek. My Etsy store, etsy.com, al the geek. Awesome. Hi, right, we're Dart Zone here at FoamCon. Thanks, Bobo Lowe, for giving us a shout out. What we're doing right now, you, everybody knows about the fad of the Adventure Force and Dart Zone darts. The waffle tips are the thing to get. Pick them up. 200 darts, $10 retail. We got a whole new line of blasters coming. These are all going to be available August 1st in stores. This is the uh, V Twin. It's the upgrade of the uh, the Scorpion. It's a belt blaster, motorized, full auto. You've got the Savage Spin here, which is basically a Magnum on steroids. So you've got a flywheel with a rev trigger. You got a detachable st uh, uh, stock that kind of slides back and forth. And this is a new item. That's basically our next version of a hopper. It's available. It's called the Destructor. It's available only at Target. All three of these right now are in $30 retail Woo! with 30 to 45 darts. Woo! That's right. Cha-ching is what I think about when I hear that. Now, here's the deal. We know you, everybody talks about stuff going on with, with Rival and where's, where's Tactical Strike stand in this. 
we're just going to bring and keep you have have a lot more fun with a lot less, keep a lot more money in your pocket. This is ten dollars yeah. every day, and this is our new shotgun tactical blaster called the Liberator. It's available only at Walmart. It holds ten rounds right inside the body. That's eighteen dollars. So we thank everybody here, and uh, you got to check everything out in stores now. I got, I'd be stupid, I'd be really stupid if I didn't talk about Dart Zone Pro. Now, Dart Zone Pro is basically the answer to everybody in the hobby. A manufacturer that's making product for this audience right now, available 715. If you haven't subscribed, go to dartzonepro.com. Sign up. Today, you got a chance to win one. Oh, that's too bad right there. Go ahead. Go ahead, Bobolo. There you go. Get stuck. Enter to win. So, here we go. Thank All you, guys. Right, where can they find you? And hit me at dartzoneblasters.com awesome. every day. Thank you very much. All right. If you have made it this far into the video, congratulations. You have made it to the end. Thank you so much for watching. And I'd also like to thank my Patreon supporters. We have Ryan Cho, Tay Beck, Jorge Verdeen, Grihas Gear, Big Zin Z. Ollie No, Scott Tomlin, and Foam Blast. If you'd like to be a Patreon supporter, you can check out the link down below. Once again, thanks for watching, and I will see you at the next FoamCon.